Hello friends, welcome to the Dog Mom. In this video, we will compare some characteristics of Belgian Malinois versus Labrador. Which is best for you? Let's jump on it. Muscularity. They have pointed muzzles, a black nose, and a pair of lips, which are also of the same color scissor-like teeth. Medium-sized almond-shaped eyes that are brown in color, erect, triangular ears, and a strong tail. On the other side, instead of standard dog treats, Try to use high-quality doggy jerky when treating your Labrador. The jerky has plenty of protein content to promote healthy muscle growth in your dog, and your lab will love it. Energy level. Belgian Malinois have a great deal of energy and need a lot of exercise. Make sure you have the room and time to provide it. Malinois are very intelligent and alert. They also have strong herding and protection instincts. On the other hand, extremely high energy the Labrador Retriever makes a great addition to an active person's life. They are friendly and easily trained and love to run around. Temperament Puppies with friendly temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be held by them. Meeting the dog's parents, siblings or other relatives may also prove helpful for evaluating what a puppy will be like when they grow up. On the other hand, Labradors are generally well known for their equable and friendly nature. Labrador temperament is often described in very positive terms. Unfortunately, many people have preconceived ideas about what their Labrador puppy's temperament will be like when they grow up. Easy to train? Early and thorough training can help you eliminate territorial or aggressive behavior, which can pop up in the breed if it is not well trained. With consistent, clear and experienced training, Malinua can be trained to do a variety of jobs, including herding and protection jobs. On the other hand, Labradors have an innate work ethic and intelligent temperament, which makes them easy to train. In addition, they are friendly and less aggressive compared to other dog breeds, making them great pets. Health conditions. Belgian Malinois have some health conditions that can be a concern, especially if you aren't cautious about whom you buy. They include hip and elbow dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy, cataracts, panis, and hemangiosarcoma. On the other hand, Labrador retrievers are susceptible to bacterial and viral infections, the same ones that all dogs can get, such as parvo, rabies, and distemper. Grooming needs. The frequency of baiting depends on you and your dog's lifestyle. This brilliant and athletic dog can be baited as frequently as every week, up to no longer than every six weeks. Regular baths and blowouts, as well as frequent brushing, lay the groundwork for maintaining healthy skin and coat. On another hand, Labradors, on the whole, are a simple breed to groom at home. Yes, you will need to keep on top of grooming with your Labrador. Grooming your Labrador will ensure you are keeping your dog looking clean and fresh, as well as discarding any loose hair. Good with children? Malinois are good with children and other animals when adequately introduced and raised with them. However, this dog can also be protective, territorial, possessive, and jealous. On the other hand, Labradors are playful and intelligent, with a warm, friendly temperament that makes them ideal for first-time owners. Labradors do well with sole owners or as a part of a family and get on well with children and other pets. So who is the winner? Let us know by commenting below. Thanks for watching this video. You are invited to watch more videos and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.